So when I'm out there and somebody says, well, somebody called me up, well, I don't like your approach. Well, you get off your couch and you get out there and show me how it's supposed to be done. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Our fits return. Babylon will burn. Well, I don't care about you not liking my approach. I always hate you. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not see these tornadoes? Can you not see all these impasses? Can you not see the war? At no time, at no time is the earth been in its own tribulation. I grant to you, my brothers and sisters, these days are but short. And he says that I shall even shorten the days. Come, come, my brothers and sisters. Christian was yelling at me and cursing on the street. Cursing at me. I'm a Christian and that's not true what you're saying. And she's cursing why she's saying that. It's crazy. We were given on that day and the Spirit fell on Pentecost. So Yeshua fulfilled all those. He loved us so much. Every single feast in the spring fulfilled. But then you come to the fall. You have Yom Teruah. And he wants his day of trumpets. Home. That's signaling his return. Turn away. Go to Yom Kippur, Turn the day of judgment. And then finally, Sukkot, well, wedding feast of the Lamb. His commandments abide in my so commandments. just so you know well, you shall how much he loves you, he is returning. We you do have to repent. And we've all fallen short. We've all been on those. We've all made mistakes. But it's never too late. There's always hope. And the best is yet to come. And read Revelation 21 and 22 about the new Jerusalem. No more pain, no more crying, no more tears. And please read in Genesis 50:20. Uh, After Joseph, all the things that his brothers did to him. Locked him up in slavery. Mocked him for his dreams. But at the end, when Joseph was put in a high position by the Pharaoh, he was able to say to his brothers, what you meant for evil, God used for good. So all the things we see happening, even the wars, even the Holocaust, things like that, in the end, God can, can use it for good, even though you don't see it now. But he will, and he can. He does love you. He wants you to repent. He wants me to repent, too. And follow him with, his, with your whole heart. So, Yahweh has love y'all guys. You have food. Keep fighting the good fight, you have brothers luxury. and sisters. You live like kings. We cannot be ashamed to step up and say we do want to know the Father. We do repent of our sins. Everybody standing here in front of you right now, okay. we are all sinners. We still have time, but that time is growing right. short. Remember in the scripture what they did to Jeremiah? Does anybody remember that? Jeremiah tried to preach the word. He tried to say it. He tried to bring about repentance. They thrust him down. Don't turn your backs. That's what happened then. Well, well, after what I just said, how many of you are ready to go out there on the street and uh, hand some of these cards out and let people know? A couple more of you? <laughs> yeah, I lived uh, as an addict for 30 years, and I was delivered. I used to spend my rent money on booze and pills and anything to get me by. The whole time I was searching for something. And this something is the one that made me and made everything that you see around me. And it's all described between Genesis and Revelation. I didn't buy it, truly, for 30 years. And then one day, I started reading it and it started making sense. And it's there for everyone. Jew and Gentile. American, black, white, Asian. We're all his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fact that he died for us, that right there is a one. That's a testament right there. That he can redeem us. That he can restore us. And he'll receive us unto himself. If we're obedient, if we keep his commandments and we walk in his way, it's not just enough to say, oh yes, I had the experience. We live for him. And he lives through us. And we will not live where it's filthy. Absolutely real. We will not live with a double-minded man. You're unstable in all your ways.
Mentor and Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth.